Hello YouTube and welcome to my next Blender Game Engine tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make tableau grass texture. So, um, firstly you must add new plane, like this. Um, then I'm gonna call it ground. It's not necessary, I'm just doing for sake of my own. And I'm gonna add new material to it. I'm gonna set it to no specularity and to full diffuse usage. A new texture, call it dirt or, or something like that. Then I'm gonna open up my editor, no, my file browser to look for textures. And I think that I have stored some kind of tableau dirt texture here. Must look for it. You must get some more texture. I'm gonna actually give you a link to the texture that I use to place where I obtained it. Um, I think it was here. Yeah, this one. Um, so that you can find it and use for use by yourself. So this is a nice there texture here. I'm gonna actually scale it twice and as I use the um as I use ABJ, I'm gonna need to enable mid mapping. So this is nice texture we'll get here, and I'm gonna also add normal map for it. I'm gonna call it dirt, and open it up. Back where I obtained the diffuse, here's my normal map. I'm gonna set it to use normals and image sampling normal map, and also I'm gonna add specular map as I have just because I have it. <laughs> it's better to use something if you have it in my opinion because it can really improve the quality of your texture especially here if it's not real-time thing then it's good to have good quality um, hard to see any difference here but okay it's, it's there anyways and now um here are still we have saved our um grass blades we created in tutorial one and I'm gonna add new particle system again called grass set it to uh hair and set it to advanced already and set it this way to grow grass blades. Again we have this grass. We enable rotation as in previous time um set it to global y and we have this kind of grass we make it kind of random a lot random something like this looks like random enough um we make phase a bit negative again and the randomness a bit positive it active and more distorted randomly okay um, I'm gonna also increase the number this time to something like uh, 2500 it's a lot it's high poly it may lag even for you a bit but it's for bake purposes you must live in this you must survive this thing um, I'm gonna make it even a bit more random so that it's kind of folded to the ground it's gonna look better in the bake in this case and I'm gonna even reduce the face a bit more and add the randomness to the face and we have this nice grass patch here yeah it's amazing what else could I do I don't know what else could I do I, I'm gonna set it to 3000 and I don't need much more things maybe make it a bit shorter like this nice um, in some case you want it to be a bit you want it to have higher number or to make it more dense, you can also scale this by half the size, and it's gonna be way more dense. And now you can use in 2000. 
uh, when tiling this on look more repetitive but it's gonna be nice it's also gonna have nicer detail when baking out okay um, what you can else do is actually set this instead of global y to object y or where was it? normal yes normal this uh, this will allow you to do one nice thing I'm gonna add modifier called displace and I'm gonna subdivide it a few times I'm gonna open this up and set this to something like 5 and here I'm gonna add new texture I'm gonna call it noise okay no ah come on noise um and I'm gonna open this editor and take this this place and set it to procedurally generated noise texture where it is it's here um I'm gonna set it to smooth actually it will actually change it as well and now I am gonna scale this value down something like point point oh five um, and I'm gonna move it up and you can see it in act and you can even have mm, Okay, I just remember one thing. Cancel this cancel. We're making seamless texture and it would ruin it. Sorry guys for this. I just miss except me. But you can uh, actually take the inner vertices and move them a bit like this. Um, in edit mode. So if you have subdivided in it, and it's gonna distort it a bit and now you go to modifiers and convert the particle system and m2 uh, 3 move to some oh no you don't need yes it's all selected you can move it back yeah I thought it selects only part convert the system uh, you can now select this the ground mesh I don't know if I can even click it. Okay, I can. Uh, remove the particle system from it. You don't need it anymore. And now I'm gonna select all. And this select. The ground mesh. Make sure that all of the grass selected not and select a bit more grass okay no not rendered not rendered it's gonna be slow and this select the hemisphere now I'm gonna press G to grab and see if everything is selected um okay I can actually select all except the hemi and make sure that the ground plane is white has white outline now it has and now I press ctrl G it's gonna generate this single object uh, you, as you can see this grass match and now I'm gonna press alt D Y 1 okay uh, we have two of them all the x1 all the y minus 1 nice now I can grab them all and press ctrl G again and make sure uh, I'm gonna move it gy minus 1 I th no uh, gy minus dot 5 and gx minus dot 5 and here you can see it's in center and I'm gonna also set it's 
origin to to 3D cursor as the 3D cursors etc. And now we have four identical tiles here mixed up. Now what you can do is add plane. Um, I'm gonna scale it half the size. A single tile of this is also half the size, and move it up a bit like G Z point five. Uh, UV unwrap it to the reset, and while in edit mode, a new texture. I'm gonna add call it grass. So we have this texture. Now we select this and then hold down shift and select this. Uh, now you scroll down to the bake. Um, and here you can select full render. Select it to active. Here you can set it to 1 or 0. Maybe even 0 because it won't be visible. Okay, I'm going to leave it to 1. And bake. It's going to bake for some time, but not that much. And you can see that nice grass there being rendered. This is the diffuse of the grass. I'm gonna see in the world settings if I have ambient occlusion. And I don't have. I'm gonna enable it and set it to multiply. I'm gonna set it to four samples for a bit better performance. Go back to the pick tab and pick again. It's gonna be way slower now. But it's gonna return this be darker and shaded grass, which looks better in my opinion. Yeah, it's indeed taking uh, some time to bake, so I'm gonna pause it. Okay, soon it's gonna finish baking for me. Um, just a little triangle here down, and once it's done. I'm gonna do image, save as image, and I'm gonna save it grass tile bull diffuse. Okay, now I'm gonna select normals here and bake normals. It's gonna be way faster in my experience. And I'm gonna save it as normals. Grass table normals. And now I'm gonna move all of this to the random layer. A new plane for test. I'm gonna UN or press it, it, call it grass tile level. Um here as well. And add new material. And here I'm gonna add the texture and open up the one we generated. And of course I'm gonna open it up first and see enable me mapping for this RPG. And I'm gonna scale it up here two and two. And as you can see, it's seamless. You don't have any tiles in it. It's if I scale it up like this and set this to something like 16. Yeah, it's kind of repetitive. You can fix it. Of course, you won't have seen with this flat tile. But you can see no tiles here, and it's amazing. And then you add no grass. normal and um, open it up again from here and you also said okay I'm gonna set this to one and actually change you is it's gonna be smarter and for the this texture I'm gonna actually open up oh yeah I have it right here my mapping true and now I'm gonna disable color enable normal and set image sampling to normal map here I can turn up the specularity a bit 
130 something like this okay that out five I'm gonna set up the scene a bit better now. I'm gonna change this to something like background and add lamp sun. One point five as I usually do. Um set it to blur game. Enable shadow variants, no bias. Okay, now you can see here we need to reduce it even more. Something like this looks fine for me. And now I'm gonna add test cube to see how shadows looks on it. <laughs> and it's fancy grass here. Nice. And I'm pretty happy with the result have this spectacular grass texture and we have baked it using just four pieces of grass but it looks really detailed and has a lot of grass there which looks good in my opinion so I hope you also have a nice grass there maybe even better than mine and if you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to press like down there and also, if you haven't already, then subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.